It is the 9th of the 12th, 2013. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1004. E&E News. Weird things happening on California coast. Previously unknown toxic algae blooms proliferating. Unprecedented mass of oxygen poor water near shore. TV. Mystery strandings of large squid covered miles and experts baffled. Quote, essentially killing themselves. It's just really weird. Unquote. A lot of weird things happening on the Pacific Northwest, Pacific Coast of the United States and Canada and Mexico. All the way down the line, huh? Just weird. Nuclear expert plutonium in water leaking into ocean is the most dangerous thing at Fukushima. It can be carried around the world and end up on a beach or in a fish near you. Researcher, plutonium contamination, quote, a serious threat to the environment and human health, unquote. They detected an aerosol form in Lithuania, I think, not a week after the Fukushima incident happened, uh, as far as some of the coriums turn into aerosol form and we are breathing it. San Francisco Chronicle, Fukushima radiation possible culprit in huge starfish die-off from Mexico to Alaska. <gasps> Potential catastrophe, it's extremely virulent uh, going up and down the coast. It's going to change what's out there pretty fundamentally. That is an understatement. We ain't seen nothing yet. It's just starting to show up. And it will continue to show up. <sighs> Way past our lifetimes, that's for sure. Because you got to remember, Fukushima continually, every day, every day, leaking more and more out into the Pacific. Not to mention all the radioactivity running down um, the Japanese rivers, where these cleanup crews just been known to dump material right into the river banks and flush down into the Pacific Ocean. So it's ongoing situation on top of them burning everything in open incinerators and dumping the ash into landfills to be poured back out into the ocean to begin with. So again, you know, Japanese just a huge radioactive tea bag. Uh, director, we saw plutonium from Fukushima in from from Fukushima out in New Mexico desert. Local and regional contaminations of plutonium in environment have resulted from nuclear accidents. And again, that's uh, one of these detectors out around Los Alamos area um, detected some plutonium right after the accident. Accident. Report reveals highest level of radiation xenon-133 to hit Canada after Fukushima. Over 6,000% more than government website claims. Plumegate. Record radiation level in underground water well near ocean at Fukushima. A record radiation level. TEPCO. Rise in radiation readings is an obvious concern. You think? 1.4 billion becquerels of strontium and beta emitters. Canadian officials estimate Fukushima cesium-137 release almost double of Chernobyl. Almost double. Based on the most conservative and credible projections. We all know how those go, don't we? BBC work at Fukushima Unit Number 4. A distraction. The real nightmare is coming from three molten cores. Thanks, BBC. New York Times. Melted fuel is all over the place. First goal is simply to stop uncontrolled releases of radioactive material. They've been having a lot of luck with that, haven't they? Yay, Yakuza to the rescue. Arnie Gunderson. When radioactive plume hits West Coast in a few months. Arnie, it's here now. It's not like it's going to end. That I agree. Fukushima still pumping contamination into the Pacific Ocean a thousand and four days after the disaster has begun. <sighs> a few months, Arnie. What's going on on the West Coast right now? Take your gloves off, brother. We need you. 
TV highest ever radiation levels detected outside reactor buildings of Fukushima. People exposed to it would die in 20 minutes. Now that's that 25 sieverts per hour, whatever, that they detected um, on that broken exhaust stack between 1 and 2. They can't even get close to the thing to fix it. They had to attach the dosimeter onto a pole on a truck to get it up close enough to take these measurements. <sighs> the insanity continues. California town passes Fukushima resolution. Urgent international rescue needed at site. Quote, poses health and safety concerns to America's west coast. A much greater contamination is likely. Uh, this little town in California, whew, they're trying to do something. At least somebody's trying to do something over there. Pay attention. What's going on in the Pacific right now? How can you deny there's nothing going on in the Pacific right now? Japan enacts state security law late Friday night amid revolt. I've already covered this. Um, if I were to go to Japan, say, I would probably be up to, like, what, five years in prison or whatnot. Um, these total fascist Japanese government, yay. Over to Fukushima Diary uh, Daily News. Groundwater level rising at 800 meters from the coastline. Uh, apparently they've got a... Yeah, let me click on that real quick. The groundwater level is also rising on the mountainside of Fukushima plant, according to TEPCO. It's approximately 800 meters from the coastline where an underground wet reservoir is located. Um, all the beta nuclei density increased to out crazy numbers, detected the whole water in the reservoir, which made TEPCO realize rising groundwater level itself. TEPCO is attempting to stop the reservoir from floating. Because of the underground wall on the coastline, groundwater, groundwater level is increasing in various places near the sea. However, TEPCO hasn't officially admitted the groundwater level is also rising, even in the mountainside of the plant area, widely and it can be due to an underground wall which can be the only cause now they plugged up the wall you know like they 20 feet down with these metal sheets and whatever the hell they did they're they're going to try to put in the freezer pop wall later and there's a river running underneath it so it's packing up and that's why it's backing up and all the bog things going on while well, they have this big reservoir um where they do the whatever liners and whatnot, and it's starting to float up because of the water level 800 meters from the sea is rising up and it's messing with that reservoir. So again, they don't have any place to put this water. It's just one huge mess. Cesium-134 and 137 detected from 71% of JT Burley tobacco produced in 2013. 98% of them were shipped for sale. That's, uh, they're saying it's a, around the 100 Becquerels uh, limit that Japan has. Of course, uh, the Japanese government owns one-third of the company by law. And uh, they went ahead and sold the tobacco anywhere. No telling where it's ending up. Uh, and again, they're going on about the, the raised radiation levels in and around the Fukushima plant. Finally tonight, I'm going to leave you with a story off of World Nuclear News. These are from my Australian buddies down under. Slurry spill at Ranger. A leaching tank has failed at Ranger uranium mine in Australia, releasing a large volume of acidic slurry mixture. However, Owner Energy Resources of Australia, ERA, reported that the spill has been contained within the mine processing area. Don't worry, folks. Everything's completely under control. Well, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or uh, send me a message. Enjoy while you can, everybody. Thanks. Thanks.